Thank you, sir. Hi, everybody, and happy Friday to you. We're broadcasting live at Greenville Tech for Freaky Friday. It's back. Come on out. You still have a good hour and a half, two hours to come out here and enjoy the fun. It goes until 730. They've got food out here. They've got family fun, carnival rides. They've got raffles. They've got silent auctions. And all the proceeds here go to Sarah Collins Elementary. Nigel, Gabrielle, I've been recruiting out here at Freaky Friday, and I've come up across the two anchors for Sarah Collins Elementary. We got Ashton and we got Lauren here. Tell me guys, you guys excited Freaky Friday's back this year? Yes, yes. so excited. What's your favorite thing about Freaky Friday? Um, um, yeah, <laughs> my favorite thing about Freaky Friday is the um, family and like the friends and all the fun stuff we get to do. Family, friends, what about yes. you Ashton? So for me, it's... Yo, hello Ashton! <laughs> For me, it's that you get to like silly shooting people and you just get to have fun and you basically get to celebrate with your friends. That's and so that's good. what I love about Freaky Friday. Well, thank you guys. You guys are going to give me a little example of your work because you guys are on the news team at your school. Yes. Give me your best shot here. Um, <laughs> I'm Aston. Oh, oh Aston no, I'm Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> My bad. I'm Lauren. And I'm Aston. And we're reporting live from YFF News 4. Thank you, guys. Good job, Lauren. Good job, Aston. In about 15, 20 years, you come come on over. We got a, we got a place for you, WIF. Yeah. We'll talk to the boss, okay? Great yeah. job, guys. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather because we've got some showers to talk about off and on. It's been across the area here and there. And live Super Doppler 4 HD showing that we've got to contend with this low that sits over Tennessee. It's slowly moving east, and as it does, it's going to continue to give us the chance for some showers. And as it moves slowly east, we'll begin to dry things back out. Live Super Doppler 4 HD looking in closer. It tracks storms for us, but it also tracks the showers. Hartwell over toward Greenwood and Lawrence, Spartanburg, Gaffney into Union seeing some showers as well. As we put it in motion and zoom in closer, you can see they're fast movers. So they're over us for about 20, 30 minutes and it moves off toward the east. Same story in western North Carolina. We've had the showers around. They've been there, but we're also seeing it start to dry up quickly. And we'll see that off and on into the overnight hours. The big deal here has been how cool it is. So you'll want a jacket if you're out and about. It's 54 in Greenville, it's 51 in Asheville, 46 in Cullowee. Now moving into tomorrow morning, you'll want the jacket. We are going to have temperatures that will fall down to the low to mid 40s tonight and you'll wake up tomorrow to mostly cloudy skies. Now a good bit of tomorrow is going to be completely dry, but there will be those showers to contend with. High temperatures in the low 60s across the upstate, the upper 50s in the mountains, but it will be breezy, so that's going to make it feel cooler from time to time. Let me show you a brand new computer model that just came in a little bit ago, timing out not only this system, but the one I'm watching for later this week. So there will be showers tomorrow, but look at how we wake up tomorrow morning. The showers will be around, but it's not going to be widespread, not going to be a washout. And as we move forward into Sunday, notice that low starts to scoot on out of here. That's the good news. It's going to be moving on out quickly. And let me fast forward here all the way into next week. We're dry all the way through the majority of the week, but here comes our next cold front. It's one to contend with, and this one could bring in some serious chill to the area. We're talking 20s and 30s and the first widespread frost and freeze threat even for the upstate. It's that time of the year, and there's the possibility, yep, that we could see a little bit of snow on the backside of this in the Western North Carolina mountains. Wouldn't that be something? Let me show you the four day here because we're going to be seeing temperatures improve and the forecast improve going into Sunday and beyond. We're smooth sailing right where we should be this time of the year in the upper 60s for highs, the 40s for lows. Late next week comes that rain system. It really begins to cool down on Friday. Those temperatures may be a little optimistic. It might actually get colder than that, especially going into next weekend. Western North Carolina going into the mountains. We have the same story, improving conditions this week, but going into next week, Thursday, Friday, it really begins to cool back down.